Hi. This is Matt of Post April 6th YouTube channel. Hello, everybody. Hope things are going well. I am now inside the uh, Inglewood's Tobacco Shop in Inglewood, Colorado on Broadway, South Broadway Street. Here is what the smoking lounge looks like. the hallway that leads to the front of the store. That's the grandfather. That's where the cigarettes are. And that's where you get the tobacco, pipe tobacco. They got some really good tins of tobacco and the old fashioned stuff. Here is their estate pipes. Here's some antiques up here. They're just for display purposes only. They're not for sale. Here's some more tins. Doing some filming. And here is the humidor. This humidor is huge. And I mean huge. It's probably at least 600 square feet, it's got to be, at least. They got lots of good cigars here. Even Davidoff's. Oh, look at this display. Wow. Cohiba. Cohiba. I love Cohiba cigars. Mm mm mm. Them Monte Cristos are good too. Mm. And here's some that I like to buy 
good reasonable price and they and they taste good quorum And there is the previous owner. He passed away in 2018 or 2019. I felt so sad. These are good, high grade. It's a grand the girl, it's 1045, Tom. It's a grand the girl. Grand? Yep. They got some good Zippo lighters. And here's the street view, what's across the street? Okay, now here are some of their tin tobaccos. Here's some more dry cigars that don't need to be in the humidor. And here's some lower costing. There's some corn cobs and some lower end but good smoking if you know it. If you Inspect it carefully. Uh, board pipes, no name pipes. That's an old lucky strike. Uh, I would what I would assume is a old school advertisement. King Edwards, well, good sign, but uh, you know, hey, I wouldn't want to smoke King Edwards. Those are terrible cigars. <clears throat> That's just my opinion. Here is the 40th president of the United States before he became in politics. Ronald Wilson Reagan, 1911 to 2004. It's so sad that he died of Alzheimer's.
here is the second half of the smoker's lounge. If I didn't cover this before, I thought I would cover it now, or I'm covering it again. One of the two. Look at these nice, I would, I want to call them wingback type uh, wooden, wooden and leather chairs. Ah, that light fixture is really unique. There's the other one. Look at that. Uh, I guess it's what would be called an antique uh, uh, wooden, uh, wooden back and uh, cushion backed couch. I think that might have been what they call period furniture. Yep, I sure love smoking a cigar at least once every couple of weeks and smoking a, uh, a pipe full of pipe tobacco once a day. I really do. And um, I'm also a member of a group, pipe club, called Seattle Pipe Club. One of these days, I'm going to take a trip out there and do lots and lots and lots of film. Not of just something tobacco shop related and uh, Seattle Pipe Cup, Seattle Pipe Club group related. I'm also going to film different parts of uh, Seattle, where um, there's not as many homeless people who would uh, kind of make the place look a bit unsightly. I hate talking that way, but that's that's the way things are, you know. A lot of homeless people are decent, but a lot of them aren't. They stink and they look quite unsightly. I th I'm glad my father really taught me to work hard for a living. God bless him. Well, let's look at this nice painting. See that? That was in a movie scene of Goodfellas. Yep, that was right after uh, the Joe Pesci character who played uh, Tommy D. Simone or Tommy D. had killed uh, Billy Bats. And after Billy Bats got killed, well, we know what happened to Tommy D. Simone. He got whacked by his own people. These are neat hardwood floors. Even though they've had some wear and tear, it's still got character, I think. Look at that truck. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Thank you. 
slump in there tonight? Uh, I'm trying this. Oh, steam works. Yeah. Okay. I don't know yet. Okay. Well, I'm still enjoying this place quite a bit. Just being here is quite a pleasure. It sure is. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, I smoked a lot of good cigars. In fact, here are the names of some of them. Jamie Garcia. Um, Fonseca Seconds. Knuckle Busters. Um, Onyx. And someone called Swamp Bang. It's, it's a green cigar. And I have also s smoked several different Macanudos, several different versions of Punch cigars. And I smoked several J.C. Newman cigars. And um, I did smoke one it's a smaller version. It, it was made by the company that makes briar pipes called Kamoi. And I also smoked a blend that I got way back when I lived in Pueblo with my father. This was uh, about somewhere between April of 2015 to uh, June of 2015. I went to a cigar shop called 3D. It was about the only good cigar shop that was out there, and tobacco shop. And I um, smoked a blend called Cask, C-A-S-K. And there was only one ounce available. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And um, I'm trying to think. I think the very, very first cigar I smoked was a Muriel. Ew. Yeah, those uh, cigars that you get at the grocery stores that are not humidified and, and they don't need to be humidified. They have a crappy, crappy, crappy taste. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry to be so dramatic. Oh, and I have smoked um, non-Maduro and Maduro uh, Ashtons. I smoked several Ashtons. I smoked Ashtons so many times it's in the last 30 years it's it's easily over 25 times easily
and I smoked. This tobacco shop is no longer open. It was uh, Smoker's End Cigar. I think it was more like a medium to dark Maduro. And I, um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, when Tinderbox was open, this was somewhere between 1992 and 1994 before they shut down and uh, went out of business. I'm talking. I'm referring to the Tinderboxes that were in uh, the Denver area. I smoked several different uh, tinderbox cigars. They taste pretty good. They got a nice, unique, one-of-a-kind taste. And now that I mentioned that, I believe in 2006, I smoked one um, tinderbox cigar at the original tinderbox that was located on 27th and Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles. There's still Tenderbox stores around, but the original store has been torn down and it's gone. And there's an office building there now. And here's another interesting fact about the man who founded and created Tenderbox. His name was Ed Copland Sr. And he was alive from 1910 to 2007. He lived to be 97 years old. And here's one more thing before I close the video about a place in Flint, Michigan called Edwards Pipe Shop or no, correction, I'm sorry about that. Paul's Pipe Shop and Pipe Hospital. It's in Flint, Michigan. They're still open for business, and the man who runs it is the son of the creator, and his name is Dan Spinolio, the, man who, the, the son who's running it. And Paul Spinolio lived to be 100 and a half years old, and he died in 2013. Well, I'm going to have to end the video and call it a day, but thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so before, and tell as many people as you can about Post-April 6th YouTube channel. Thank you.